everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a plain and simple flip cup. I've got three cups I'm going to use. Let's go over my paints. My first one is Blick Bright Aqua Green. My second one is, um, I just really love this color. I was just at the Blick store and I found the Blick Metallic Teal. First time using it. Pretty excited to use that one. My next one is the Blix Payne's Gray. My next paint is Amsterdam Pearl Blue. Will give a shiny topping to any uh, paint that you put it on top of. So when I layer my cups, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. My next paint is the Arteza Gold. My next paint is Golden Parole Red. I think that's how you say that. And my next paint is the Golden Alizarin Crimson Hue. For my base coat today, I'm using the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. And I did add about a tablespoon of the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents White Pearl. Pouring medium today is seven part mix, one part paint, and I did thin with water. Let me show you the consistency here. Just leaves a little trace and then disappears. A little bit on the thicker side to what I've been using lately. No silicone used today. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera, put down my base coat, Fill my three cups, bring you back, and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down on my Artist Loft Floor Acrylic White and the Rust-Oleum uh, White Pearl. I filled my three cups very different, and let me show you. Cup one, cup two, and cup three. I did not pour down the side. I poured right across in total layers. So let's get started. I will flip my cups on my canvas here. Here's cup one and cup two. And cup three, and I know I'm going to have plenty of paint here. I'm just going to give it a second there to let the paint move down. And matter of fact, I think I will just give, give each of these cups a little poke on the top. And as you can see, that really does let the paint out. Matter of fact, I think I just will do this first flip cup here. Very pretty colors. And I might even lip it through there. If I get negative space today, that would be great, but I really don't think I'm going to with all this paint. Let's try this cup next. And as you can see, that really does help that paint come out. And we'll flip this cup. And I'll do a little lip. And some of you wanted to know what does lip mean. It, all it means is you just take the lip of your cup and I'm running it through the paint. Just to give the painting a little more character. A little more for the eye to look at. And let's do our last cup here. Just flip that down. And do a little bit of lipping. 
We do have some cells coming up. And that may be from that pearl paint. Okay. I don't think I'll torch. I think I will tip first and then go back and torch at the end. I do see some big air bubbles, so I will just pop those. Most of this paint I did make up yesterday, but my base coat I did make today. So let's start tipping, and I hope that you can see most of this tipping as it does go on. It's going to do a slow tip here. Run those paints down through the bottom. And I'm going to run this over to the edge and bring it back. And I do put push pins under my canvas because I find that's much easier to hang on to because the canvas gets so slippery. What I'm going to do is get an edge protector for that there because I want to keep those cells. So what, is, what I do is I just save these that you get on the corner of a canvas, on your new canvases. Try and use them as a edge protector. Let's see if I can do that with that push pin in there. Maybe a little bit I can do that. And pull the paint back. It was a nice try anyway. Okay. And right now I am loving all the red. And with the mix, we're going to see a lot of uh, transparency come through. And now I will take it down this way. And over to this corner. Bring it back. And I will go to this corner over here. And let some of that paint run off and bring it back. And now I'm just going to uh, take a good look at my painting. See what I do like, what I don't like, what I want to tip off. And also I'm covering my corners here. And looking at my sides, cleaning the paint off the bottom. You can also use your palette knife to clean the paint off the bottom. Okay, what I am liking here is this red and the white stripe here, the nat red. That contrast is great. I do like the cells in the middle. So 
So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing a little bit of tipping down to this end because I have still a little bit too much paint on this canvas. So let's tip some of this off down here on this, this far end. Bring it back a little bit. And as I've said in many, many of my videos, I've found that the more that you stretch out the mix, the nicer effects you get. I do see something in my painting that doesn't belong. I'll take that out right away. And I think I am tipping down to this far corner here. Tip some of that off. Okay, going to bring that back. I'm going to take another look at it. Clean off the bottom. A lot of really nice areas on this painting. I think I'm going to just tip a little bit down on this corner here. Not too worried about the amount of paint I have left now on the canvas. It seemed to slow up a little bit. And bring that back. Okay, can take another look at the composition here. And I think I will give it a torch. Let's see what we get up here. Bring up. I really do think that metallic teal is beautiful in here with that red. So let's give it a torch. And hopefully you are in camera here.
Okay, still looking at the composition here. I think I'm going to just take a little bit off this far end here. Still stretching that all out. Okay. And I think that by doing that, it made this area so much prettier. And I'm going to just do it a little bit more here. You just bring that white right to the edge there. And then bring it back a little bit. Now I'm going to take another look at it. Okay, I'm really not liking that edge. So what I'm going to do is see what's left in my cup here. See if I can just give it a little something that we can run off the edge here. Let's tip it this way first. And now we'll tip it down. Okay, that's a little better to me. Bring it back a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a look at it. And I'm still not satisfied with that corner, so I do have a little bit of this. I think it was called Parole Red from golden and I'm going to put that in that corner give it a little tip and then bring some of it back and take a look again again at it Tipping down just a little bit here. Just stretching some lines out. And then stretching down this way. Paint is just moving very, very slow.
and then I'll bring it back. Okay, now I'm going to give it a torch. And then we'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, so let's get you down for a close-up. You can tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And composition-wise, this is how I, I felt it would look the best. So this is the upper left-hand corner. And I will point out some of the areas I think are really, really pretty the mix let the transparency come through you can see some of it in there I did get some cells and I do believe it's from the uh, metallic rust-oleum metallic uh, white pearl those little pearly cells and this is the lower left hand corner Pretty busy in here. I do like this area in here. Those red cells popping up like that and then I have some little blue ones. And this is some of the effects you get with the mix when you really, um, you tip it so your paint's a little thinner like that. So pretty. Like in here. Bleeds into one another like that. And transparency, you can see down through the layers of paint. And I'll take you over to the uh, lower right corner here. And we'll just go up the right hand side then. Very pretty in here. How that came through, it almost looks pink. Really pretty in here. And this is the upper upper right hand corner here. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help my channel grow. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.